transforming from Mark into Adore Delano from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 6. Adore is a singer, she's a drag queen. I adore Adore. I enjoy her music a lot and I enjoy her personality a lot as well. I do like it when Adore does these simple looks because it's very Adore, it's very laid back and I kind of like it. But I do love as well when Adore does the very drag looks. Adore has this look where she has a tiger, a white tiger or is it zebra catsuit on and I love that look when she's got pads and when she's all sexy. When Adore's got a costume on, I Think she looks so sick. Enjoy the rest of the video guys. Oh wow, this hair is something. Okay, I look a little bit of a mess. Finish work, I've got blisters on my feet. I walked to and from work today, which took me an hour and a half. But I wanted to film for you guys, so here I am. I'm just going to skip over like the foundation and stuff because you've seen me do that loads of times on my other drag tutorials but if you want a specific drag tutorial on foundation and contour and highlight then let me know but yeah I'll just skip through this part and plus Adore Delano does not do crazy amounts of contouring and highlighting and I'm also only covering half the brow because that's what she do the list of products will be down below so if you need to know anything any of the info on the products then Everything is always listed below. So that's just a little bit of the base. I know it's a little bit pale, but Adore is a little bit paler than I am. Um, but I'm just now going to do one eye and I'm going to come back. First of all, Adore's eyebrows are pretty dark. I do think, I'm suspecting that she might be using black on her eyebrows if not it's really really dark brown but today for the palette that I'm going to be using I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Iconic Pro 1 palette and I'm going to be using the black shade right here this is called Pitch so Adore's eyebrows she uses her natural brows at the front um, so don't fill up the first front of the eyebrow because Adore keeps her eyebrow hairs fluffy there and as it goes along it gets pretty damn harsh and sharp and very black and it goes straight up and out. I think Adore's eyebrows are very very distinct and very different to other drag queens eyebrows. They're one of the things that I noticed on her face. I'm actually going to be using a little bit of eyeliner just to sharpen up the brows. So I'm going to be taking my eyeshadow palette again and I'm going to be using a base. This is called Luna and just apply that all over the lid. This is like a nothing colour, but it's just going to be a base. Apply that over the brow bone highlight. And then I'm going to be using Drama, which is this medium brown, and just apply that to the crease as a transition colour. Right, and then I'm going to be using Afflicted, which is this purpley dark brown shade. And I'm going to be applying that into the inner crease of the eye and go really heavy with this. And now I'm just gonna apply that really heavily on the lower lash line as well. So Adore loves her white eyeliner, so I'm going to be using Next Gen by Pencil in Milk and apply that to the waterline. This is also what Bianca Del Rio uses. It's what a lot of drag queens use to be fair. Um, but I'm just applying that to the waterline. And I'm also gonna apply that on the inner eye area. And I'm going to set that with a white eyeshadow and the white shadow I'm using is Ghost from the same palette. What a good palette because you've got a row of all mattes, all of the mattes that you would need for a neutral look or a smoky look and then you've got a row of shimmers which is amazing. Today I'm going to be using the Revolution Awesome Double Flick Liquid Eyeliner for the eyeliner. It's got a thick side right here and a thin side, so that's good. I'm gonna be using the thin side first to do the outline. I'm going to outline the white liner at the bottom, creating a point, and then line in the lower lash line, and line the top lash line really thick, and wing out the outer corners. Once that is done, I'm going to be taking a little tiny brush and take Pitch again, which is the black shadow, and smudge the lower lash line with this. Adore was probably one of the most requested for me to do in terms of makeup tutorials in drag and I get a lot of Alaska as well 
Who else? Cartier. I get a lot of Cartier. Okay, after that, I'm just going to be applying mascara. I'm going to be using 17 Falsify Mascara. I'm just going to add a lot of powder under the eyes just to highlight and cook that powder in. For lashes, I'm going to be using this eBay lash. It's pretty full. On the picture that I'm going off of, Adore's contour in her nose is pretty strong, so I'm going to be using this grey shade right here to just whittle this nose down quite a bit. For blush, I'm going to be using NARS blush in Angelica. And for highlighter, I'm going to be using Becca Shimmer and Skin Perfector in Rose Gold. Here we go. I finally got this product. I'm so happy about it. I was gonna get Opal as well, but they were out of stock, obviously. And I'm just going to apply that as a highlight. For lip liner, I'm gonna be using MUA Intense Color Lip Liner in Brooding Plum, and I'm going to make my lips so big. The thing is, Danny. Uh, adores boy persona. His lips are so big anyway, um, but my lips aren't as big as his, so we're gonna have to fake it. Adore likes to have match red lips quite a bit. She does dark lips, she does nude lips, but I think that Adore is most known for her matte red lips, so I'm going to be using the Clud Rain Liquid Lipstick in Vanity Rain and fill the lips in. Do you guys like Adore's songs? Which is your favourite? I used to listen to DTF a lot, and Max from the music video, the hot guy, is really hot. I follow him on Instagram. My address is Hollywood is also really good as well. Comment below if you've listened to any of Adore's songs or if you have watched the music videos. So guys, Adore likes a good flannel. This is from Top Man. My dungarees, they are from Primark. My watch is from Daniel Wellington. And this hair is from uniwigs.com. This is the wig in LS0072. She used to be a black to blue to lime green hair ombre, but I dyed the ends teal green because I don't like the lime green. And I've added tracks to her to make her fuller. She's 20 inches. She's mermaid hair and adores a mermaid. If you want the red Adore Delano hair look, then this wig is from divaswigs.com. I've already done a wig review on her, so the video link will be in the desk bar if you're interested. And I've added this mole on the right side of my face. This is the final look, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and let me know down below which drag queen you want me to transform into next. I might do Alaska because you guys love Alaska and so do I, she's one of my favourites. So this has been Margaret Panther, the Prince of Vanity. Please give this video a thumbs up. I love it when you click the like button. If you like drag queen makeup tutorials, then please give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe to me on YouTube. And I hope to see you on my next video. Bye guys!